hydroponic is to grow plants in air. That means the plant has no contact with soil. And to make sure that it's isolated, we have a screen house, an aphid net screen house, where you have no insect coming, you have no disease you bring in. And when you are sure that the first plant you put on the table are clean, you can be harvesting that and generate more and more clean plant. Up to now, it was known for Irish potato. This is the first time we are trying it successfully for yam. And here, because we don't know it, we have a lot of experimentation going on simultaneously in different buses. This system is a system in which when you can identify one single plant which are virus free, you bring it here, you can multiply, you keep it here, you'll be cutting vine, using them for multiplication of virus free plant. Yes, when you go back to the field, you get nematode on the, the tubers, but the level infestation will be very low. And when you plant it, you plant the, the, the clean plant, it will not become as heavily infested as the one you are multiplying, you are keeping on the field years around. The daily maintenance takes the format of first and foremost when we come in in the morning, we'll first check if the leg disinfectants are still available to ensure that whomever is coming in does not come in with any bacteria with their feet. Considering they are coming from different places, we ensure the lab coats are clean, that they are going to put on before they come in. Then once inside, you check the sprinklers because most of the time it is possible for the machines to be working, but the sprinklers within the buses are not functioning. So we check to ensure that all the sprinklers are functioning and also ensure that the nutrient gets to all the corners of the table. Once that is done, we check to ensure that the plants that are growing are actually twined around the rope given to them, not flowing on the tables freely. Then once that is done, we also go back and check the level of nutrients remaining in the tank so that we don't come back the following day and see that there is no more nutrients and the plants now are suffering because of dehydration. Then, we also check the environment, check is the temperature hot. If it is hot, we look for a way to calm the temperature down, either by watering the floor of the aeroponics with normal water or using a part of the nutrient to make ice block, which is placed back inside the nutrient tank. So with that, basically you have checked and done the daily return work. What I want to show you here is two plants. Two plants, one were, is cut and planted six boss, one, two, three, four, five, six boss with it. And the second one is there. I want you to see the size of the tubers. You can see the tuber is almost 40 centimeters long. You can see another one with the rooting system, these are the two plants. They are still there. First March now, they'll be two years old, 24 month old plant. Like I said, the aim is not to produce big plants. A, a, a tuber like this is enough for us. And these are generated from vine we cut here. And when you compare the, the rooting system here for this young plant, with the plants which are exposed to the sunlight, you see that there are some difference in the development of the rooting system of the tubers. These are results we are getting. That means if you can have assets of sun, to the, you can see the size of plant. Even inside, it will not be as big as this. 
after one year, then they are only four months old. And when you look at the tubers, you see that the tubers which are on the first row, they are bigger than the one. When you go inside, the tubers are small, they are reducing because the sun is coming from here and they are the first one receiving it. That means really yam, which is a, 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 a sunlight crop, is showing the effect here, even uh, uh, in aeroponic. But we are afraid of uh, the sun, we are afraid of the heat, and we put a shade, like uh, uh, advice. This is the white yam, Rotundata. I want you to see another one here is the water yam. This is a latter. Clearly, you can see from the leaf. This is another species, the Cayennesis. And they are growing fine. All these were vine cutting. This is the Bibifera, the area tuber. And they are also growing fine. But they are developing less than the Cayennesis and less. We couldn't be successful with Dumetorum. Anytime we cut and plant, they die. At least we know now in aeroponic you can use four species by vine cutting. This is Rotundata, Alata, Cayennesis, and Bibliothera. We also have a student, a PhD student, trying different uh, 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 combination of the variety, the hardening, and even uh, uh, when you produce the vine outside, and you had it outside, and you bring it uh, in the uh, 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 aeroponic, can you compare it with the same variety coming from uh, a bioreactor system? He's doing all this. Here we have four types of fertilizer we are using. When you look at it uh, visually, you can see that this is doing better than all the rest. We have some technical problem here also, because some of the pump are not running the way we want it. But you can see the development, the number of plant survival, and you see, you compare this with this. Please, these are planted the same date with the same varieties. We are really comparing the fertilizer uh, 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 composition. And you can see from here is better looking than the rest. One of the, 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 the last one is not doing well because it's running all the time and uh, which is not uh, what we want. And you can see it is giving the worst result. Yeah, this is the fertilizer a, a trial we are conducting here, and we think it will give us a very good uh, a, a, a indication for which type of fertilizer we are using. And here, because we don't have the ammonium nitrate, is not anymore on the market. We have tried all that type of ammonium, ammonium phosphate, ammonium uh, potassium nitrate, uh, and it's doing very well. This is what I show you, and we have this concentration. We don't have ammonium nitrate, but we are using ammonium phosphate, and it's doing. We, com we have different composition with new type of fertilizer in different uh, uh, bus. But the, 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 the constraint we have here is that the system we set up technically is not running for this test. They are not running the way we want it. Some of them will run, and when it had to pick up, it will not pick up. And some of them, when you come after, uh, after the weekend, you realize that they haven't run properly during the weekend. These are what we are doing here. The challenge is yes, at that machine. If the machine is not working properly or they are not pumping the water to affect the plants. So for, for the maintenance, you have to make sure that the machine they are working properly. So there is a lot of problems we are fixing in terms of uh, survival of the plants. 
So there is a lot of challenges in terms of temperatures, the nutrients, the supply. So we are still going through research. There are some that we are trying to see the, to come to the normal situations of how to generate it. Even the tuberization. You have seen now, we have confirmed that the plant can grow. But that tuberization of the plant is also another challenge that we are facing there. People say it's expensive, it's expensive, but they don't see the value, the advantage, getting clean plant and getting this high multiplication rate are very, very important for yam. And here now we are in January and yam is green here. That means you can grow yam in aeroponic all the year round. You have no constraint in producing your seed. Based on the estimate we have for now, for the first and second year, the benefit margin from it may not be so, so substantial. In other words, there may not be a break even in the first, second year. But we believe subsequently, maybe after the third or the fourth year, there will be a break even. If we are able to get the build capacity, I mean local capacity, for the running of aeroponics, then the cost will be reduced. And if these materials are, can be sourced locally. And again, the benefit of having disease-free plant cannot be overemphasized. So as we go home, we discover that what, this will actually solve the problems of farmers in getting disease-free plants, and number two, and from getting high ratio propagation material in yam production.